Sizzle me this! Which Hollywood OMG listers have got new movies and new chindus? I'm John Iver Mainmeat and this is Celebrity Beard Review. Hi guys, I missed you so much. Where have you been? I can tell you where I've been, getting all the heat, fire and brimstone on Celebrity Jowls. After filming The Beach Bum, Maddie McConaughey has gone from scruff and tumble to buzz and bumble with a new beard of bees. He was seen leaving Whiskertons on Rodeo Drive with the new Chin Hive. And I think this is the perfect summer look for the permahunk. The yellow in the bees really complements his hair. And apparently it's been causing quite the commotion at celebrity events. Robbie Downey Juji Beans had eyes wagging at the Avengers Endgame premiere with an extreme trim, courtesy of Buzz Dog at the Ministry of Chops. His linear Ming was cut back to reveal an exposed jawbone. The blood and viscera pouring down his neck perfectly coordinated with the red carpet. What a ledge of the cutting edge. Braddy Body Pit Pots looking tip top with his new Chin Pops. The biaxial jorbs were the star's own creation, and now Instagram has an army of Brad Mad Chin Poppers desperate to copy the look. And they're not the only ones. Hip Hop has gone Chin Pop, with Butterbob, Gamalung, and Ariola Grenade all sporting fresh tufts. Speaking of which, somebody sent me an unmarked cardboard box. What's in the box? What's in the box? It's not my dead wife's head. <laughs> it's this week's product review. Let's say hello, shall we? Hey guys, I just got out of the shower. Oh my God, what a mess, right? So before putting any product into my beard, I like to use a beard brine. This is a lightly salted variety that's really gonna help you build volume and give you that slightly distressed fisherman look that's so on trend right now. I've got my beard trough ready and it's filled with brine. I'm just gonna dunk it in for three to four minutes. And that's gonna help preserve your beard for up to two weeks. So today I'm trying some of Uncle Mulliver's beard mayonnaise. I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, but this is their premium version and it's supposed to soften and subjugate your beard. This variety they've sent me is the Vintage Farmhouse Edition and it's got a, it's, a, it's, it's like an earthy animal fat kind of scent. Um, I love it, but it may not be for everyone. They also include this Beard Mayo Applicator, which is a nice addition. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this Beard Mayonnaise and um, I'm just gonna apply it to my beard. And there we go, and it's going on really smooth. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Feel, it feels good. It feels cold and invigorating. You can see I've applied the Beard Mayonnaise and all we've got to do now is wait 12 to 13 hours for it to fully emulsify into the hair. So, it's been 13 hours and my beard feels more nourished and energized, especially this part here, which can often be quite absent-minded. It's really focused now. I would say this is probably one of the top five beard mayos on the market, <laughs> maybe even the best. And just to let you know, guys, I don't get paid to endorse any of these. I do it just to help you and your face. Let me ask you a question. Do you wake up in the morning and think to yourself, why does my head look like a testicle with eyes? It may be that your facial hair is not fulfilling its full potential. That's why I developed my eight week online course, Who Is My Beard? With this course, you'll learn how to properly motivate your follicles with lunar growth cycles. We'll also cover common beard growing issues like beard bullying, child cheeks, chin wisps, and cleft overgrowth. You'll also get exclusive online access to our online community, the Guild of Beardsmiths. 
So don't just grow your beard, know your beard. Come on, give me some money. Well, that's all the time we've got this week. I'm John Ivermaney. Thank you for joining me on Celebrity Beard Review. And remember, it's a full moon, so you're really going to feel that gravitational pull on your beard. Bye!